Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Chapkin here at SCRC Fertility. One of the most common things I discuss with my patients is exercise during their stimulation for their IVF or egg freezing. We often tell people during the stimulation and about two weeks after, so basically for about a month, not to exercise. This can be incredibly challenging for a lot of patients. So some people kind of say, oh, this is great. I get to not exercise for about a month. But some people, including runners, athletes, dancers, not exercising, not running can be really, really challenging. And I have to say personally, as a runner, when I was going through my IVF cycle, I found it incredibly difficult not to run during stimulation. I think it's important though that we stop for a second and explain why we tell patients not to run. See, it's not about the ability of the lungs or the heart to function well during the stimulation process. That's totally fine. The issue is really about the ovary and its risk for ovarian torsion. The ovary normally, when not in stimulation, is about the size of a very small lemon. During stimulation, it can be as large as a large melon. And that puts the ovary at risk for twisting on its blood supply, especially if the ovary is jostled during running, dancing, twisting, turning. And so the restriction is really on that. Now, you can actually walk, hike, vigorous walking all day long because that doesn't put the ovary at risk for twisting. The risk and the restriction is really only on running, twisting, turning. So feel free to keep walking, keep hiking, keep exercising during your stimulation process. Just be careful to keep your midsection stable so you don't put your ovary at risk for twisting because that can be a surgical emergency where we potentially have to remove the ovary and that's obviously the last thing we want so again go ahead exercise walk 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 just don't run or yoga or twist and turn thank you